Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to choose wine. So I tried to make this video last week and it was a complete disaster so I'm having another go. So hopefully this one will be a little better. Firstly, why am I making this video about how to choose wine? Well, because choosing wine is one of the most important decisions you might have to make on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's really, really crucial that you are equipped with at least a little bit of knowledge and a few tips to make the right decision and to avoid ending up with a bottle of wine that is absolutely shit. So, I'm going to do two videos. One of them is going to be how to choose wine when you're in a shop and how to choose wine when you're at a restaurant. So first of all, let's start with how to choose wine when you're in a shop. Tip number one, choose to buy your wine from a decent wine shop. Not only will the staff be more knowledgeable and will be able to help you, but also the selection is gonna be far better than the supermarket. Also, when it comes to buying cheaper wines, the independent wine shops usually stock better quality cheap wines than the supermarket. Okay, so you're in a wine shop, be it at the supermarket or at an independent wine retailer, and you are confronted with a wall of wine. How the hell do you choose? First of all, this will really depend on whether you're buying for yourself or someone else. Let's pretend you are only buying for yourself and maybe a couple of friends. What's the occasion? Is it a chilled one at home where you'll be stuffing your face with chips and watching series? Or is it a more elegant dinner party? Or perhaps it's a braai out in the sunshine. All these factors will really influence what you actually feel like drinking, i.e. what your palate wants. Have a think about what you're really craving. Do you feel like something really light and crisp? Or do you want something rich and luscious and really intense on the flavor? Once you have a rough idea of what you feel like drinking, the next step is to find the right wine. Now don't worry if you feel underconfident or you don't feel like you know enough about wine to make the choice by yourself. That's what the staff in a wine shop are there for. Tell them the kind of wine you're feeling for and they'll be able to help you because they've very likely tried a great deal of the wines in the shop. And if they haven't, they still will have a little bit of wine knowledge which they can use to help them select the best wine for you. Okay, so what if you're in a supermarket and there's nobody who can help you? This is where technology and smartphones really come into their own. Just whip out your smartphone, Google, and see what comes up. So for example, if you're in the mood for a really full-bodied white wine, you can type full-bodied whites into Google and see what kind of wines come up. For a full-bodied white, you're probably going to be looking for a wooded Chardonnay or any kind of wooded white wine. One of my favorite go-to online resources to look for wine inspiration is the winewizard.co.za. I'll leave that link in the bottom. It's an absolutely amazing resource. He's got thousands of wine reviews with really, really helpful tasting notes. He also gives it a star system so you know what he thinks the wine is like and also a price and a value for money rating. Okay, so let's say you've asked the shop attendant and you've looked at your phone, but you're still a little bit confused. First thing is to take your normal go-to wine, for example, maybe it's that Two Oceans Merlot or that Bayer's Kloof Pinotage, and then just try and find another wine made by the same producer. Another thing you could do is just find a Merlot from a different wine region, different wine country, or from a different producer. And this will just open your mind up a bit to the possibilities of different wine regions and also di different grape varietals. Another strategy is to play Russian roulette and simply grab a wine bottle off the shelf and see what it's like. Believe me, I've resorted to this tactic loads of times. And you know, sometimes you get a shit bottle of wine, but I've been wonderfully surprised by just taking a chance and trying something completely new even though I know nothing about that wine producer. Okay. So guys, my biggest piece of advice to you is to be adventurous and to really Go outside your comfort zone when it comes to choosing wines. After all, you don't have the same meal for dinner every night, so why should you drink the same wine every night? 
So my parting advice to you would be really step outside your comfort zone. I mean, you don't eat the same food for dinner every night, so why should you drink the same wine every single day? I hope this very brief introduction to choosing wine has been helpful for you, and I hope now you can go into a shop with more confidence and choose yourself an awesome wine. Thank you for watching my video, give it a thumbs up if you digged it, and leave any questions you might have in the comment box below. And check back next time where I'll be talking about how to choose wine but in a restaurant setting. See you guys later, and happy drinking!